Hey friend, welcome back, Famke here. Today on the channel, I wanna show you a tool that I think is great for UX writers or any designer responsible for managing copy in their designs, and it's called Strings. Strings allows you to search and maintain your product's actual copy without having to know how to code. Now, I've definitely had this challenge before where I've noticed the wrong copy in the final product or had suggestions from folks on changes to make in the final product, and as a designer, it's really hard for me to actually make these changes and suggestions. Often I rely really heavily on engineering to help me do this. But Strings makes this much easier. It connects writers and developers together to help manage the copy in the product. Writers get to work directly with the current content by getting it directly from the app's source code. This way you can fix content without ever having to bug your developers. For developers, Strings takes the very tedious task of updating and managing and maintaining copy off their plate so they can better focus on actually building new features and products. Look, I'm not a developer, but I have heard from a lot of developers that changing, updating, and maintaining copy is not often their number one priority or most exciting thing to do. But it is a really important part of product. So Strings gives writers ownership over edits and then automatically generates pull requests for their developers. A heads up friends, this is a sponsored video, but you know that I don't create sponsored videos with tools that I don't use, enjoy, or think are really promising. So I'm super excited to show you strings today. Let's jump on into the tool. All right, so when you first sign up for strings, it's gonna ask you to set team name. Once you're into strings, you can either start with test data or you can use the GitHub integration. Now you'll want to invite your developers into your strings account so that they can help get the environment set up correctly. How strings works is essentially it pulls in the product copy into strings so that you as the writer or the designer can make edits and make changes right here in strings. Strings then automatically generates the right code and pushes that back to your developers to then implement the changes. So your engineer will want to connect their GitHub account to Strings and then pull in the right files to link. Eventually, GitHub will send the developer back to Strings where they need to select the right file. Then when you're in Strings, you can head to Files and then here you'll be able to see the files that the developers connected for you from GitHub. And you can rename this as you like. Okay, so your developer has helped you connect your string files, so all of your content is now here in strings. So now if we head on over to search, here you can see all of the individual strings that are in the product copy. Now you can see the platform that these strings are on, and then you can also search if you have a particular string that you want to look for. Now you can either edit these strings one at a time, or you can edit multiple. I'm gonna choose a couple here to edit at a time. Now we're in the edit view where I can see the current content as well as the character count. The character count can be important to consider, especially if you're thinking about localization or constraints on a layout. Over on the right, I can type the new text. So maybe instead of close, I want this to say exit. And here it will tell me that I'm decreasing the character count by one. If I included more content, you'll see that it shows that I'm actually increasing the character count, which I don't want to do so let's just keep it X for now and then for the OK button maybe we want to change this to submit. Now this is going to increase the character count which is just something to consider. Once you're ready to submit this back to the developers you can just click on send to engineering. Strings will now generate a pull request for your developers to accept and approve and once they do these copy changes will go live in the product. Now let's head on over to the edit tracker. Here is where I can keep track of all of the progress and the state of any content changes or suggestions that I've made. So here in the edit tab, I can see any current in progress changes. So these are string changes that I haven't actually submitted yet to developers to make the change, but I'm still working on the copy for this string. Strings that are in development are ones that have been sent to the developers. So this is the one that we just sent off to developers and it's waiting for them in GitHub to approve. Once an engineer has marked a string as completed, you'll be able to see it here in the completed tab. So you have a nice record of string changes that you've made. Hey friend, just popping in here to let you know that since recording this video, Strings have actually released their Figma plugin, which includes two features, automated word check, and then also handoff for engineers. You set up your word list in Strings, and then the Figma plugin will automatically check your copy and flag any inconsistencies and make notes for improvement. It also shows your readability score, so you can fine tune your copy for the appropriate reading level. 
The handoff feature makes it easier to hand off your content to engineers. Just make sure that your Figma frames are named and organized correctly, and then select the ones that you want to export. Strings pulls in the content from your designs and then generates localization ready content for you to then give to your engineers. And that is Strings. It's really simple and really easy to use. And I like that it's bringing together the writers and the developers into a more collaborative environment. It's super easy for your dev team to set up and it supports multiple platforms like Android, iOS, and even web. I like that this tool empowers not only writers, but also developers to improve their product copy super seamlessly. And this is gonna save so much time for your developers so they can focus on actually building features and new products rather than having to go and manually update content and strings in the product. Lastly, it does support any localized language files. So I've obviously shown you an example in English, but if your product copy is in another language, don't worry, there's support for that as well. So to get started, just head on over to strings.design, sign up and get started in this tool. I'm really, really interested to hear how you find this tool and what has been working well for you in your writing to develop a sort of handoff and collaboration. Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, catch you in the next video, friend. Bye.